Great. A new weapon. Oh, this helmet. We want to see what. It Ew. Never mind. And isn't this okay? These shoulders. They look nothing like the picture. Right? Yeah, they don't really look like at all like it. That's stupid. Ow! That's stupid. Um I like the shield just because of like because of that effect alone. It's a really cool. It's just a fun effect to have. I want to see more effects like that. Boom! Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. Dude! Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! I Uncool. live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Hmm. Now, Mother daughter. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the high heavens. Well, damn. That's all I can say. Well, on to the next one. Ooh, this is getting exciting. We're almost... If I remember correctly, this is a shorter chapter. So we're getting really close to the expansion chapter that I have no idea any... Like, I have no idea about any of it. so pretty anymore. I'm guessing. Yep. So pretty. And... Nothing of 
That is some serious insult to injury right there. Like, using his own body to shatter the door to the kingdom he's protecting. Interesting. That is a bit, uh, rude. Rude, Leah. I know it's not really, I mean, rude. Act 4. Cutscene apocalypse. Starts now. Well, started then. Continues now. Adria has betrayed us. Mm. And now Leah is lost. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. Mm. The power of hell answers his call. And the heavens buckle under the weight of corruption. I will purge this evil forever. forever. Woo! Yeah! I love the look of this chapter. I really do. There's no more, right? That's it? Correct? Okay. Heavens. Yeah, I just... What have we done? Oh, I love this chapter. Visually. Pew! Hello! Imperious, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrion. What? And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. Stop it. Don't look at me like that. The aspect of valor condemns us. The diamond gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Now oh, don't beat you yourself up, dude. You didn't destroy those gates. Yet I defended humanity when Imperius would have destroyed it. And now the prime evil storms heaven itself. This is not the time for doubt and weakness, Tyrael. Imperius is a fool, and if you side with him against me, you are too. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings indeed. Yep. See ya. Chantress had to get the last word. Not talking the whole time. Gaze upon the yep. destruction I have wrought. Ooh. It will be the last thing you see. Iskatu, destroy the Nephilim. Iskatu, hello. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. For some reason, that dude looks like he should have a little bit of a lighter voice. Like, I mean, not... Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking, like, light voice, like, eh, hey, only fight death itself! But I'm like, I don't know, he seems like he should have, like, a... one of those cackly... be one of those cackly evil guys. Yep. You're rude. You're gonna die. Ooh, this chapter got tough. Tougher, at least uh, damage level. Boom, boom. Or maybe it's because I'm just standing in uh, puddles of bad. Are these puddles of bad? Kind of looked like they were hewing me for a second. Maybe they're not even puddles of bad. I don't know what they're all about. Boom, boom. It's got to. My wrath is low. Boom, boom. I wish I could send like a raid notification to my enchantress and tell her attack now when I've got him weakened. All right. Oh, poop. no. Wait. Yes. There we go. All right. I want to get it all done at the same time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's the first time I've used a potion in this entire recording session. I think. It's crazy. Don't don't disappear on me, okay? Don't leave. 
Don't you leave me. Not when you're this low. Uh-oh. Oh! Boom! Come on. There we are. Every moment I delay you, I draw closer to my ultimate victory. Okay. You also get closer to being a dick. Hmm. Yeah, nothing cool. We're almost at level 40, then we can... Then we have to make the tough axe decision. Tough axe decision. I'm funny. Alright. Hello! I am Ishmael! I know. Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Ooh! I care little for destiny. Will you help me? Or should we stand here and watch the heavens fall apart? Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnoth, the Lord of Despair. Oh. She will be free. She will be Perhaps free. That will bring hope back Click to on loot heavens. to pick it up. That is basically the only bit of info you need about this. The Archangel